So I'm going to right step, backhand slap, go to the throat. Right? You move him back, kick him to the groin. Right? Backhand with a. Pull him down, relax, relax. When I when I do when I do that, you're all gumby, right? Relax. Yeah. Right? Okay. From here, I'm gonna hook his leg and sit him down. Don't let him fall back. Right? Then hammer him to the to the lungs or to the neck. Good choice. Right? Let his face come up a little and then knee him in the face. You know, I got a light hand. <laughs> Just relax. One, two, three, four, right? Get your weight to start putting down on him and just buckle his leg a little bit. And hold him down, hammer blow, and he, yeah. When I let go, your face will come up. You won't stand up, especially when I do that. So slap me on the back, slap me, right? A long react, slap me on the back. Yeah. You go like that, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing when I have you right here. When I hit you, you try to, you, you, no, 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 you try to do that. And, and when you do that, I let go and your head will pop up. You feel it? Because you're like that, your head will come back. <coughs> on that hit? Right. Is that, that hit to the top of the lungs or to the, the neck? The base of the neck? I want you to hit to the neck. But okay. I want you to practice to the lungs. Okay. Right? That way you don't hurt his neck because you got it pretty taut. There's no, there's no give anymore. If you're, if you're doing it right, now. this, not this. See my heel. This is what I'm telling you. You need weight, and you need to push down with that heel because that's how you get dry. Whenever you push with a heel, it's much stronger because you work the upper leg. When you sh shift forward, you push with the ball of your foot, and then you're only using your calf muscle. <coughs> Which one's bigger? Which one's stronger? Yeah? So every time you guys lean so much and come out of your stance, you don't lower your groin, you have a tendency of getting that heel off the ground. I don't care if it's an eighth of an inch. Then you're pushing with the ball of your foot, and that's calf muscle. That's where we don't agree with the, with the boxers when they do this. Yeah. Why? They're punching you with their calf. They're punching you with their calf. That's a calf muscle. We can do the same thing and punch with the whole thigh. Yeah. You get it? Okay. So anyway, it's not in disagreement of what's effective in that. It's the way we follow up with our combination. It's one art deciding we punch this way because we stand and move this way versus another art that says, well, we stand this way and therefore we punch this way, right? And, and bottom line is whatever art you're doing, you got to pull it off. It doesn't work by itself, right? So if I start taking off and, and hit them, and then stab him and give me some distance. I prepare my foot, kick up, so that he doesn't move away. Lift your knee up. Lean him around and down. Start adding weight to him, you see? And then you can hook the leg and land and keep him there. And hammer blow, and then knee him, right? I turned my shoulder, it got, there, it got there quicker, see? I turned my shoulder, right? Get your thumb in, right? This is a poke. The, the, you feel that? That's a poke. Like a one knuckle. Yeah, right? It's a poke. You gotta have your thumb like this. Some of you guys are going like that still, right? I can't do it like that. You see, I don't care where I hit you. That's a real, real hard hit, right? 
See, I'm hitting in the body and you giving, right? Yeah. Think about it like that. Oh. Or to the eye. Yeah. Oh. Those are different techniques we have. Right? So, I turned my body in, right? Like this. I didn't go like this. Right? Yeah? Right? So, you're gonna go bam, and then reverse it right away. Okay. Turn your body. Kick, get your hand ready. This is a hit with the forearm. I'm going to hit him. And my hand's already open because I'm going to use it like a cane. I don't want to grab him from here and go like that. That's what some of you guys are doing. You're reaching over and grabbing him with your hand and pulling him down. I want to hit it. I, I want a backhand hit. But if I have my hand closed, he'll move so far, I can't grab him. So I want my hand to stop. I, I mean, my wrist to stop when I make contact on his neck. But I want my hand to keep going. And then I can hook it. So I hit him, and then I hooked it. So try to move your hand over, like, from the blow. No, 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 no. Try to move your head over like that. Bend over that way, right? See, when I go like that, I'll hit him and, and then we'll break away. But when I do with a hook, he'll move and, and you feel that you can't move anymore because my fingers are already on that side of your neck and holding you. See? Right? Now I pulled him in and dropped my groin. Half of you have got your legs straight and are going like that. There's no leg drive. There's no, none of that instruction I gave you about pressing with your heel down, lowering your groin, right? You feel the weight? Okay. This is just a kick back like, you, you see that? You see that little kick? Yeah. Just a little with the heel. Just enough to to do that. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, three, four. Lean him back. Hook, hook, and stay over him. Your job is to hold him. So so I'm being nice to him, and I'm pushing like this. But guess what's going to happen? Close your fist. Guess what's going to happen when I have no control with my hand like this? When he falls down, his head's going to pop right out. When I push him down, his head will pop right out. Throw it out. Yeah, that we're demonstrating like that's his head. Right? His head will come out. Okay? How about now? Pull your head. See? So what am I doing with my hand? I am holding him down, but I am squeezing your neck. You feel the difference yes. now? It's the same thing like cutting off the karate. Did you feel that? Yes, I, you grabbed. You, you uh, yeah. Okay, guys, eagle claw. <laughs> right? You want some kung fu? Grab a hold of him. Right? There is nothing like this. Right? You, you feel the you feel the difference? Right? But that's for squeezing, that's for grabbing, that's for securing, right? You see? I'm not really squeezing you, squeezing you. I just tucked my hand in, right? So when I backhand you and brought you in, I, I'm not doing it, but you can feel the eagle clump? Yes. Right? So when you fall back, when you fall back, I'm really getting caught with your big fat head with all those brains getting, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You remember this? Mm -hmm. well, my hands slowly closed and then your fist don't fit? The same thing I'm doing here. When I squeeze down your neck and you try to pull your head back, just pull back. It, it, your head don't fit. Right? When I push him down, 
if his butt falls a little bit too far that way, past my center of gravity, my groin straight down, yeah, I'm having trouble pushing down and I'm trying to pull back with my hand. And when you're trying to pull back, you're not pressing his head down. You're pulling his neck. You're like, you're like holding rather than putting weight on you. You see the difference? Yes. Uh, right? Okay, so, so I backhand grab, right? And you see where my balance is at. You see where his is at, right? Okay. So if you start pushing him back without bending him over, he starts moving back. And if his legs fit by his heel, he'll start stepping back. He'll start walking back. But if I lower him and rock him onto his heels, he can't move back. That's why you guys need to slow down and learn the, the, the timing and the mechanics. Okay, so watch this. You see where his balance points at? Okay, if I hook his leg and step down real close to his foot right here. When he sits down, do you see how far his butt's gonna go down? Or what? You see how far his butt's gonna go down, right? And now you see how I'm not over him? I should have been over him right here. Instead, I'm trying to keep him from falling back and there's too much weight, so I am not pushing down. I'm pulling, lay back. I, I, you see, I'm right? And that's what would have happened when you don't have the, the ability to compress. Okay, so get up again. Right? Okay. I, I grabbed him. I collapsed his leg, but I moved in more. Do, do you see? Do you see now how I'm adding weight to him? Yeah. I'm gonna take a big step past his butt. So so guess where I'm at now? You're writing him down. I'm writing him down, not holding him up. But you feel your neck? Okay. I can't do it anymore. Why? Because when you do proper mechanics and good science, you're not fast and, and powerful like you guys think, right? So, better mechanics, right? Better mechanics. I just buckle them and put my weight on it. You, you, you feel that? But this is where I would have forced them only. I, I sacrificed the, the lesson for your sake. Yeah. But because I stepped over here, yeah, right? Yeah. You, his leg pops up, I mean his head pops up, and then I'm going to turn my body and knee, and knee him. I'm not going to go like this. Turn your body and knee him with your whole body. Okay? <laughs> well, I don't know if he's coming at me again.